A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak to those gathered in the house of Cornelius, saying, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. You know the word that he sent to the Israelites as he proclaimed peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. What has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil. For God was with him. The Word of the Lord. Our second reading on this commemoration of the baptism of the Lord Jesus is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, the speech of Peter to Cornelius and the people. We have been reflecting on baptism as a gift of identity and mission. In the first reading from the prophet Isaiah, we have this servant of God, gifted with an identity, someone on whom the favor of God rests, and someone who is filled with the Spirit. And his mission is also a gift from God. He will restore justice, sight to the blind, light to those in dungeon, freedom to those in prison. But God also tells the servant how the mission will be accomplished in meekness, in humility. Wow! So everything in this mysterious servant is a gift of God. Identity, mission, and even the way the mission is to be fulfilled. In the second reading, Peter proclaims again to his hearers about the good news that God has really saved everyone, all peoples, through Jesus Christ. This is the good news that even the Gentiles, the so-called pagans, those who were considered outsiders, if you consider only the visible confines of Israel, the chosen people, they, the outsiders, also enjoy the favor of God. Now, Peter narrates the identity and the mission of Jesus Christ, especially in the fulfillment of the universal plan of God to save everyone. And this is striking when Peter starts telling Cornelius and the other people about the ministry of Jesus, the public ministry of Jesus, he begins with the baptism that Jesus received from John in the River Jordan. This is already a clear indication that in the consciousness of the early church, the public ministry of Jesus has a starting point, the baptism in the Jordan River by John. It's as though in that event, God launched not only the mission of Jesus as an adult, but also made known to the world who is this person. And using the words of uh, the first reading, Peter claims that Jesus, the one baptized in the Jordan, was filled with the Spirit. God filled Jesus with the Holy Spirit. Now, what is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is the very life, the very dynamism of God. It is not just earthly life. It is not just earthly dynamism, but divine, divine life and dynamism, energy, force. 
So Jesus, the human being, very ordinary looking, was really filled by divine force, energy, power called the Holy Spirit. And because he is filled with the Holy Spirit, according to St. Peter, he goes around, Jesus goes around, fulfilling his mission, doing good things, healing the sick, inaugurating the kingdom of God, especially through his preaching, his good actions, and his healing. And in the end, back to identity, God was with him. Look at this beautiful blending of the identity of Jesus, his mission, all combined in his ministry originating from his baptism. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us again learn from the speech of St. Peter who Jesus is. Let us not minimize his identity and his mission for both are gifts of God. In the same manner, how about us who are also baptized? In our baptism, we have received the gift of identity. We do not make our own identity. It is a gift of God. And with that gift, there is a corresponding mission. And we hope that what was said of Jesus could be said of us. In our persons, in our ministry, we hope people will say, God is with him or with her.